Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the missing measure of my angle 1, which is right here. Now, um, there's a couple different ways we can go about this type of problem. But you can see that we, um, we have a triangle, right? And what we, we have two angles in it. And we're missing the third one. We can easily figure out that angle. But they're asking us to figure out what is this angle. Um, and they also tell us that we have parallel lines. And I remember whenever I see parallel lines, I'm always thinking of my angle relationships, alter interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, and same side interior. And I know it's kind of confusing because there's a lot of lines going on here, right? So if I'm looking at these parallel lines, um, I also see intersecting lines, which I should be careful because intersecting lines also tell me, look for other um, angle relationships, vertical angles, and linear pair. So I'm actually going to do that first. Since this is 80 degrees, so I have this triangle, right? I know this is angle 1. I want to figure out what these two are so I can figure out what angle 1 is. Well, notice that 80 degrees, I can apply my vertical angles, right? Because they share a um, vertex but don't share any sides. So I can now say that that's 80 degrees. Now, the last angle I need to figure out is what is this one? And I know what 14 is, but how can I relate 14 to over here? Am I positive that those are the same? Well, I notice that 14 degrees and this angle are both on this line, right? One is to the right, one is to the left, OK? They're both on this line, and they both kind of touch our parallel lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of forget about all of these lines for a second and see if I extend these parallel lines. What I have is, yes, I have a relationship of parallel lines and a transversal. Where if this is 14 degrees, that means this angle has to be 14 degrees by alternate interior angles. So I use my angle relationships of vertical angles as well as alternate interior angles to find the measure of this angle. Now, all I simply need to do is use the triangle sum theorem to be able to find my missing measure. So I'll create a formula. So measure of angle 1 plus 80 degrees plus 14 degrees equals 180 degrees. Combine these. Measure of angle 1 is equal to 94, I'm oh, sorry. Measure of angle 1 plus 94 degrees equals 180 degrees. Subtract 94 degrees. Measure of 81 is going to equal 86. Eighty-six degrees. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use angle relationships to help you determine the missing angle of a triangle. Thanks.